The first statement, the signs. The Holy Book has set for us conditions to realize the return of the Son of Man, including the sign of times, for it's mentioned in Luke's Gospel. As he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be? What's the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Jesus answered them, Be careful that no one leads you astray, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will lead many astray. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that you are not troubled, for all this must happen, but the end is not yet, for nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, plagues, and earthquakes in various places. Dear loved ones, wars have always been a reason for destruction and perdition, and the best example are the two world wars that killed millions of people, and here we are on the verge of a third world war. Up till this day, the blood of the oppressed people is spilled by the arrogant and tyrannical states, not to mention the religious war that preoccupied Christianity on the one hand and atheism on the other. If we shed the light on every war that broke out in the last decade or the one before it, we would not have enough time or place to talk about it. Then this is a sign explicitly realized, and this is no secret even to the least educated and informed people in the world. Famine has also spread awfully until the eyes of the people and the media alike got used to the look of human skeletons of the poor in Africa and to the scenes of food deprivation of hungry babies who die daily due to the lack of food and nutrition all over the world. And this represents one third of the world's population as shown by statistics. Diseases and epidemics that harvest the lives of billions of people all over the world and today, every person is threatened to be inflicted with a deadly disease that medicine failed to cure. These significations are among the signs that Christ mentioned in his Bible and the Holy Book in general. As for earthquakes, they have become a significant issue lately, meaning the last couple of years that witnessed violent earthquakes that killed thousands of people and we all heard about the phenomenon of the tsunami that has obviously become a life-threatening phenomenon in these countries. And due to the widespread satellite channels and media outlet, we get to learn about a new earthquakes every day, not to mention the volcanoes, floods, landslides and hurricanes that science and technology fail to understand and stop. Aren't these sufficient enough to be the glad tidings promised by the Father in his holy book, to wait for our returning Savior and Redeemer, the Christ? Despite that, we know that the skeptic people will doubt what we say and accuse us of lying. For this group of people who pretend to love Christ and the followers of the Church, these people only raise questions and skepticism about the signs of times. And we see them in every age discouraging those awaiting salvation by the Lord. For the return of the Christ is a threat to the thrones of the oppressive religious and political men alike. We see them every now and then trying to convince the simple and ignorant people that these things happen in every age and that the time of Christ's return has not come yet, not to mention that they deny his actual return to earth and claim that his kingdom has been established spiritually on the cross, claiming that these signs are not the actual signs intended. They are obviously contradicting themselves and trying to distract the Christian thought that waits for the day the Lord shall return to condemn the world. To these skeptic people we say, enough with the obscuring the issue of the Lord's coming and covering the realization of his signs that have become so clear 
especially that since years ago, not only the believers, but also the common people with the lowest level of cultural knowledge about the Holy Book have heard that the outbreak of famine, wars, diseases, epidemics, earthquakes, and others are things that the Lord mentioned in the book since 2,000 years, and they did come true, and are still coming true, and will continue to come true in the future. However, you skeptics, you know very well why you're doing this. You're scared for your interests and occupied yourselves with acquiring the embellishments of this mortal world. And you still defend the ones who you spared Christ from. That's to say, the hypocrite men of church who are the enemies of the Christ. And when the Lord comes to retrieve his kingdom, and because he will hold accountable every usper of his right and make a distinction between the sheep and the ewes, behold Christ, glory be to him, coming to the doors to establish the awaited kingdom of the Father. So blessed are those who believe and accept salvation at the hands of the one sent by the Father.